Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. My name is Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I'm an intuitive reader and today I've got a message for the water signs. This is for Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. I am still offering that special deal for you and I'll talk about it more at the end of the video, but right now let's get to your reading. Uh, <laughs> they just came through with the words, don't be a hero to you. Um, that's kind of funny. Uh, the first card, I'll go ahead and show you all the cards and we'll kind of unravel one at a time. The energy around you this week, we've got the Nine of Swords. The way you're going to respond to that, we've got the Eight of Cups. And the story on the other side, see if we can get this. Yep, I got it. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups in the middle, and King of Pentacles on the other side. So two Earth flanking a water. So interesting idea there. So this energy, there's a lot of uncertainty around you. There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of anxiety. Um, still, <laughs> I feel like a lot of you are still picking up on the energy around you. So it's not even necessarily your anxiety. It's some of it is, but it's magnified by the fact that you're, you're kind of picking up on the people in your family, the people that you're communicating with, it, that just kind of general vibe from the world as well. But what this means is that it's bogging your energy field down. It's like weighting down your backpack and you want to fly. You want to get over this. You want to soar over this and it's too heavy. You can't. The energy is just too dense because you're holding on. You're not holding on, but you've just got so much negativity occupying your system. So you don't like that and you want to do this eight of cups thing. You want to just leave kind of. So you're diving into yourself. A lot of you are retreating from the world, from the people around you. You're just kind of pulling into yourself. You're withdrawing. And this card, just because of what's in our, our last message, our, our the very last three cards I'll show you, you notice the figures in these, there's only one. And there's just this kind of feeling of alone. This one can't go up. He wants to go up. And this one is just going down. So the, it's this heavy pulling down, drawing down. This card can sometimes be spiritual exploration, but I don't feel like that's what's going on. This is literally like you don't like what's going on at the surface of the water. You don't like what's going on in the world. And you're just like, get me away from this. As far as I can go, get me away. I just do not want to be around this stuff at all. And so you're escaping into these emotions. The heavy feeling is going down. And this message is maybe going to seem very trite to you because when you're in that kind of darker emotional place, that shadowy emotional place, you don't really want to come up to the light. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I shouldn't say unfortunately, that's what you're being asked to do. The, the general vibe of this card, of this card spread is support and be supported. It's really necessary for you to reach out to other people right now, to stay connected, to be involved with those around you, and to rededicate yourself to that. I know it seems like it's overwhelming and you can't, you need to be by yourself right now, but actually you need to do the opposite because everything is already provided for you, everything you already need. It's just that your thoughts are so overwhelming. This energy from other people is so overwhelming. You believe the opposite is true, but you've got everything you need to be supported and nurtured and for you to flourish. I love this. This has come up a couple times in the card readings, but when you have earth and water together, we get something that can make life grow. Seeds can grow in that, right? Life gets bigger. We need to add water to earth the earth to make trees grow. And these, these earth are here to support you, to give you that stability because sometimes water is so flowy, right? And we, we have no boundaries and we just kind of spread out everywhere. The earth is here to support you and it's steady and it's constant and it's, it's like a rock for you. So you don't have to be down here without an anchor. This is trying to draw you back up to the surface, engage with those people around you, support them, and you're going to receive the support back. Uh, this card is nurture and be nurtured right now. That's what I'm feeling they're saying with it. And so that's really what you're craving. Yes, you do feel like you want to escape from this junk here. It's not comfortable. It's really, but what you're really saying is, ah, you know, I'm so overwhelmed and I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. And they're saying, yes, you can. 
you've got to bond with other people. You've got to forge those strong connections, re reforge them. You know, I'm not talking about reopen things with people you've left behind, but with the people that you know are there for you, um, that's who you need to open up to right now and really connect with, really be with. Don't despair. Don't go off by yourself in despair. It's not time for that yet or right now. It's not time. Sometimes it's time, but not now. Now is the time to bond together, be stronger, and feel the strength of other people's support. And it's this beautiful giving and receiving. It's this kind of circular pattern. You see the circle here. So as you dedicate yourself to giving, other people dedicate themselves to giving to you. So as you dedicate to receiving, other people receive also your good energy, your good intentions. So I'm really sorry that you're feeling so overwhelmed right now, but please resist the urge to just go off because you need to do the opposite at the moment. So please share this with other water signs in your um, in your circle, this can be one way to kind of start this communal dialogue going on. And um, I would promise to tell you about the special deal for you. So I'm offering 50% off my intuitive readings um, for this time to help people through and to make sure they're accessible to everyone. So I've got awesome wellness readings, relationship readings, just things that you need to connect with a higher um, higher consciousness, a higher frame of mind. I bring in messages from your guides and from the other side. So all the information that comes through for you is positive. So if that's something you feel you need right now, please check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. <laughs> and if you're still watching, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.